What's up, y'all? It's Trenton Sanderson, and you tuned into the infamous Living Room Network. Divine powers are always working for us because we're trying to do right. Yeah, you're here once again. We're ready to talk about something exclusive. The most exclusive album of 2017 right now, and that is Big Sean's I Decided album. Man, this album just caught us by surprise. It came out overnight. I woke up next morning i was like yo he actually dropped the cd last night in the middle of my sleep are you serious big sean but nah shouts out to big sean man for making such great music i've always been a big sean fan um i've always been a fan of good music uh being that getting out our dreams being that um you know I, i'm friends with saha the prince who is uh I think he still signed to good music, but I think he's went more independent now. Guys, please check out Saha the Prince. I'm gonna put some of his music at the bottom of this video in the description section there. Um, and also, I'm gonna put some of my music at the very bottom in the description section as well. And you can just click the link and go check out uh, his music and my music if you want. But anyway, back to Big Sean and the new album, I Decided. First thing I wanna say is that this album is very, very creative. Um, I've heard maybe four songs off the album so far. I'm still waiting on you know, some of the uh, new songs that come out on YouTube and whatnot, but other than that, you probably gotta go to uh, iTunes to um, buy the full album to get the full effect of the whole uh, CD. But I did go to some websites and I did hear this, all the songs uh, streaming, which they only play like m maybe a minute of the um, song and whatnot, but it's all good, man. I still, I still love Big Sean's music. So yeah, Big Sean had some great hits to come out on the radio. Uh, for instance, uh, Bounce Back, you know, that, that's a very good song, man. Um, it's definitely a song for the club and I definitely understand where he was coming from when he made Bounce Back. Um, another good song, which I just realized that he made, which was yesterday because I looked it up and I'm like, yo, this is another song I hear with Big Sean. And it's like, okay, this is off the new album. And it's called No Favors. And I'm like, yo, Eminem is on it. Eminem versus Stupid. You know, Eminem has always been one of my greatest rappers. Um, I think he is one of the greatest rappers in the music industry and in the rap arena. And um, yeah, I think he was the great pick. He was a great pick for Big Sean. Um, Big Sean, man, he, he, I understand where this album's coming from because he's trying to you know, elevate people. He's trying to get people on a higher consciousness. And I can tell by, you know, like his lyrics and whatnot. And you don't gotta be a rocket scientist. You can figure out the same thing, man. He's all about enlightenment. Um, like for instance, one of his lines in uh, Bounce Back was, uh, I'm blacking out because I'm enlightened. I talk to God in silence. Like people don't know. A lot of people have, are just not understanding what this whole, you know, awakening, spiritual awakening thing is all about. And, and Big Sean is just one of those artists who really wants people to start to understand more about you know spirituality and stuff like that so if you're the type of person that's just listening to the music to hear all the the nasty things or the curse words or whatever or you think rap music is trash you're slightly mistaken you know rap music is very inspiring and uh most of these artists are very very intelligent smart wise artists um big shine is a very very wise artist um if you ask me he's a prophet you know, and, and you don't get too many people like Big Sean that come from nowhere, a place like Detroit and, and have a mass, have a great influence over a whole lot of people. You have to be the person who is actually chosen or, you know, that is that is your destiny to, to speak to so many people on a large grand scale the way Big Sean does and he does a good job. Um, Another song which was one of my favorites off the I Decided album was, you know, Halfway Out the Balcony. The song is great. Man, the whole album itself, man, it has a great theme on it. Like, you can feel the theme. It's different from Dark Sky Paradise. Um, it's different from Finally Famous and all that stuff. And, and, and I like Big Sean for switching it up on every album, man. especially this one. This one is it's, it's right for this time that we're in right now, 2017 here in the United States of America and you know all around the world you know the world coming together and you know Big Sean just being able to make such a visual album you know to captivate all walks and races of people not just people of color you know but also Caucasians I know some Caucasians that actually have listened to this album that, that have given me feedback to make this video to tell you about it and um, you know I've just been taking opinions from all over but in the middle of it just trying to give you a full-fledged 
uh, one site view of you know what this album is like just in case you might want to go listen to it but Big Sean himself is a great artist man um, he he has Janine Aiko on the side and, and I know you know she's actually encouraging him to be you know such a great influence on his fans as well um, and you know it's kind of hard being a rapper like Big Sean, you know, to try to have a relationship at the same time. But that's the new reality that all most people are in the entertainment industry are actually doing nowadays. It's not about just being a hoe or, you know, messing around with all these people and stuff like that. People actually really want to have relationships nowadays. Like, you know, and, and that's so good, you know, for Big Sean to really have a, a, an album while at the same time dating somebody at the same time. And... You know, you just gotta kind of take all that in perspective, man. When you when you talk about Big Sean, he's just not that ordinary artist. You know, his music stands for a purpose. You know, and you just have to really have that ear to really listen to the lyrics and, and listen to what he's saying to really understand where he's coming from. Uh, I'm an artist myself, and I and I definitely understand where this I decided album is coming from. To me, I took it as I decided is you know I decided to take control of my life. A lot of people don't want to take control over their life. They're always playing the blame game. He's responsible. She did it. She's the reason why. He's the reason why I'm this way, this and that, blah, blah, blah. But, you know, Big Sean is saying you have to decide for yourself when you're going to take control of your life and take responsibility for your own album. Big Sean is just telling you, you know, I decided that for myself. I decided to take control and full responsibility for everything that happens in my reality in my life. You know, I should not to blame people for you know the situation that I'm in and the circumstances that I'm experiencing and it is so true man um you know like for instance the title no favors you know no favors like you don't need people to give you favors in order to get to where you got to go now if people want to give you favors cool you know what I'm saying that's cool take it take it don't never decline your blessings but you know you always want to look at life and and, and and always know that Know, you're not looking to depend on nobody. You're not looking for favors. You know, you don't have to look for favors in order to be great. Another line that I like, uh, a lyric that I like, Big Sean, that I like that Big Sean stated was he said, you know, you don't, he said, I, I showed everybody that you can be a master's without a master's degree or a master without a master's degree or something like that. That was very cool, man, because that's true. Like to make it in life, a lot of people think you got to go to school, go to college. You know, you have to be have a silver spoon, but that's not true, man. It's all in your heart. You know, you can do anything you want in this world if you have a good heart about what it is that you want to do. And um, Big Sean is a great example for that. Um, uh, and he's really backing up good music, you know, getting out our dreams. He's really backing it up, being that, you know, Kanye West has his own thing going on and Pusha T has his own thing going on, and you know all the artists have their thing going on, Common and all this, you know. And, and Big Sean is really playing, playing his role, man. Um, he's he he hasn't deviated from his role at all. Like he's only becoming better and better and better and better and better. And I really look up to Big Sean as an artist. Shout out to Big Sean, man. I love you, man. Thank you for inspiring me. I watch all your motivational videos on YouTube. Be Sean Don all day, every day. Fear, patience, family. I watch it all, man. It inspires me. It gets me through the hard times in my life as an artist as well. And so, um, yeah, guys, this, this is what I think about I Decided. The, the, I de the, yeah, guys, this is what I think about the I Decided album. Like I said, I haven't listened to the whole album, but I listen to the majority of the songs on there. And I understand the concepts. And I hope you understand the concepts and understand the good music that I hope you understand the good music that Sean is, is actually trying to get people to, you know, wake up and understand and take control of their consciousness, their life, their mind, body, and soul. Because it's all about making yourself better, making other people's lives better, and making the world a better place, guys. I'm Trenton Henderson, and you're tuning into the infamous Living Room Network. Speak up, let your voice be known. Leave some nice comments at the very bottom. You can follow me on Facebook. That's where I'm the most active. In the meantime, guys, one month believe it challenge. Believe it. Receive it. Big Sean Don. Shouts out to Big Sean. See y'all later.